Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to install Hyper-V Server 2019 operating system, how to configure it and how to create a virtual machine. How to recover lost data from a Hyper-V Server physical disk from a virtual machine drive and how to convert a virtual dynamic hard disk into a fixed size one. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Hyper-V Server 2019 is a free virtualization product by Microsoft that lets you create and run virtual machines, each of them working as a full-featured computer with its own operating system and programs. With Hyper-V, you can create several virtual machines running various operating systems and do it on a physical Windows server. Hyper-V's hardware resources and computing power let you isolate the guest operating system of the virtual machine from the service operating system, which guarantees its uninterrupted work. There are two versions of Hyper-V. Hyper-V Server – an autonomous server that only contains a window hypervisor – Hyper-V, for sure – and Windows Server with Hyper-V – an autonomous computer controlled by Windows Server operating system where Hyper-V is enabled. In a few seconds, I'll show you how to configure an autonomous Hyper-V server containing only a Windows hypervisor. You can download an installation ISO image of Hyper-V Server 2019 from the official Microsoft website. To download the image, log into your account and the download link will become active. For the download to start, fill in these fields. I recommend choosing the English version, as it will make the configuration process easier and it will help you avoid errors and let you fix possible errors more quickly. When the download is complete, you need to create a bootable drive or boot from this image in any other way possible. The installation process is typical and looks like installation of Windows 10. Just follow the wizard's directions. There are hardly any peculiarities in installing Hyper-V. When the installation is over, you'll be suggested to change the administrator's password. As you enter it, the hypervisor console appears. Hyper-V Server doesn't have the Windows graphical interface we have all got used to. Most settings can only be configured with the command prompt. For configuration, two windows are available – the standard command prompt and the sconfigcmd window. I will perform primary configuration with the standard management console. The first item on this menu lets you connect a server to the domain or workgroup. Now, Change the server name. Choose a name that is both short and informative, because you'll be using it often during the configuration process. I agree to restart. The next item lets you add one more administrator. Give the name and then the password. Another important thing to configure is to enable remote access to this computer. This way, you'll be able to control it with Server Manager, MMC and PowerShell consoles. Connect to it with RDP, check its availability with ping, and so on. The fifth item is Windows Update Settings. After that, you can check and install available updates. 
There is one more important thing. Enable remote desktop access. Type E to enable it and 2 to allow all clients. The next item is Network Settings. To select a specific adapter, type its index. In my case, it is 3. Now press 1. Set a static IP address by pressing S. Enter IP address. Subnet mask. And default gateway. Then 2. Set DNS servers. When this configuration is over, type 4 to return to the main menu. Set the date and time. The last one is telemetry settings. Hyper-V doesn't let you disable it. So select the mode you prefer. I choose the first option, security. That's all about primary configuration, so let's move to connection settings. To manage a server with Hyper-V Manager, you'll need a computer with Windows 10 installed on it. To establish a connection with the server, it should be available by the host name. To make it happen, edit the file hosts on the client computer. Add the IP address and name for the Hyper-V server. This is how it looks like. If the account on the client computer differs from the Hyper-V administrator account, and this is how it should be, you need to save your account data which is used to connect to the hypervisor. To do it, launch the command prompt as administrator on the client computer and type this command. Specify the server name, administrator name and the password. By default, a firewall is enabled for the hypervisor to block any external connections. You should either disable it completely by running the following command in the service command prompt, or add several permissions for remote management. Here are some commands to be typed in PowerShell. You can run this tool from the command prompt. Type PowerShell. And then run the following commands. After you have specified the host and the account data to access Hyper-V, you need to check if the server can be pinged by its name. On the client computer, run the command prompt as administrator and type the command ping followed by its server name. The server can be pinged alright, so let's move on. Start PowerShell as administrator. And run this command. Type Y to agree. This way, we have just configured the WinRM service to run automatically and enabled the remote management rules in the firewall. Now, you need to add the Hyper-V server to the list of trusted hosts with this command. The last element is the server name. The next step is to set permissions for the anonymous logon group. 
to do it, you have to start component services by running the command dcomcnfg in the command prompt. In the component services, jump to Computers, My Computer, right click on My Computer and open Properties. Jump to the tab Com Security. Here, click Edit Limits in the Access Permission section and set Remote Access Permission for Anonymous Logger Group. Then click OK. Now you need to install Hyper-V Manager in Windows 10. Right-click on the Start menu, Apps and Features, Programs and Features, Turn Windows Features on or off, Find Hyper-V on the list, Unfold it, and check the box next to Hyper-V Management Tools. Click OK. Wait until the installation is complete and then connect to the remote server. Open the Start menu, Windows Administrative Tools, Hyper-V Manager, Connect to Server. In this field, type the Hyper-V server name. If you configured everything properly, you'll be able to connect to the server and manage it. Now that Hyper-V server is installed and the primary configuration for your uh, connection is complete, the final step is to create a virtual machine. Check one of our videos for a detailed tutorial on creating virtual machines in the Hyper-V manager. Just follow the link in the description. When the operating system is damaged, the Hyper-V server's hard disk is formatted accidentally or the virtual machine is out of order. You can still read and extract the required information from the disk if you use a specialized tool. Hetman Partition Recovery. Remove the hard disk from the Hyper-V server and connect it to a Windows computer. Download, install and run the program. Open the disk and start the scan. If the Hyper-V operating system has crashed, you still have good chances to recover virtual machine files from this drive. By default, they are stored in this directory C Users Public Documents Hyper V Virtual Hard Disks. Select the files you want to recover, click Recovery, select where you want to save them, and click Recovery again. When the recovery operation is complete, the files will be placed into the specified directory. After that, you'll be able to connect a virtual machine and boot it. When a virtual machine is created by the hypervisor, it receives a virtual hard disk, which is dynamic by its type. Due to certain peculiarities of the file system and permanent defragmentation of such disks, deleted files are soon erased, so recovering data from images of such disks often ends in a failure. However, you can change the disk type in the virtual machine settings of your Hyper-V manager. Select a virtual machine and open its settings. In the window that opens, look to the left, select the hard disk, then look at the right side of the window. Click Edit. Next. Choose Converge, click Next, and don't change the disk format. At the next step, select Disk Type as Fixed Size and click Next. In the process of conversion, the program will not change the main file of the virtual disk. Instead, it will save its copy, but with a fixed size. Give the file name. and click Next, then hit Finish. Wait until the virtual disk is converted. Now let's check if we managed to change the disk type. 
click Inspect and you can see that the disk type has changed to fixed size. Now upload this file into our program. Open the Tools tab, Mount Disk, specify the path to the fixed size virtual disk file and click Open. After that, it will appear in the Drive Manager. All you have to do now is to scan it. Select the necessary files and recover them. You will find the recovered files in the directory you have chosen. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Push the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck.